Hey everyone. Well, it is such a busy, crazy day here uh, at my new farm. <laughs> Uh, it feels like a farm right now. I have so many plants started and in various stages of growing. But very exciting news. I have some good news and bad news. It's not bad, but it could be bad. Uh, uh, Barefoot Farmer is coming. He is on the way. He should be here any moment. Jeff Poppin, the Barefoot Farmer, well known in Tennessee. He is coming to fulfill what we started when he made his plan. He's bringing two cherry trees. Uh, a scoop of compost of his biodynamic compost. He's bringing some sulfur for the blueberries and I don't remember what else. But we are gonna take a little drive down the road and see if we can borrow a tractor. And if so, and then we're going to get the lower yard uh, plowed for the lower garden. Now, one side note is I was bit by my second tick on April the 3rd and I thought it was getting well. I took that one off. The first one came off on March 28th. I had it taken off by the urgent care and that one was no problem. No treatment other than antibiotics, which I decided to take. And so the second one came around on the third and so I was still on the antibiotic. And then I thought it was getting better and it started to get worse. And so now I have this big red circle around it. And so uh, I'm told that this could be a, potentially could be Lyme disease. So I've got to somehow squeeze in a trip, uh, another trip, I went yesterday. And so I'm gonna go back over there and get blood work done. And I will hopefully be able to have a report on what I've just told you by the end of the day. Remember in a recent video, I said I really needed help figuring out where to plant things. And so what I'm hoping is Jeff, Barefoot Farmer, has some suggestions about, in particular, the elderberry bushes and the two pear trees, the two pawpaw trees, which I understand are, they like being more in like the forest. And then bulbs and roots and comfrey and I just need some help with that. And then after he goes, Justin and I can plant everything. But he's bringing that great compost, so I can't wait for that. And by the way, there was some kind of seed in that soil, I think, that we bought, that I bought. I've had several sprouts come up and I collected a few, and I'm gonna take those down to the extension agent and figure out what they are because they're not coming from the ground because the soil, you know, is this deep in some places. I do not want to be weeding raised beds. That is not something that I foresaw. And also I didn't foresee getting bit with ticks at the very beginning of the season. And I am really kicking myself that I didn't use a tick spray right off the bat. Just like one, 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 one in between the pine, those little trees they planted, maybe? Yeah, we'll go down there and look at the floor. Okay, I got that. You see that stump down there? There was a dead pine tree there. Yeah, yeah. I had that taken down. Yeah, uh, so this is the worst soil on your farm. And that's the best soil. Do you know why? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So why did, I, why did I think about putting a garden here? That was crazy. I thought so. That's why I, I recommended we go down there. Well, we are going to go down there. Yeah. But I just asked her why, why the, this is the worst soil on the farm, and that's the best soil. <laughs> you know what she does? Do it for him. Justin, you got to look this way. I just made a gesture. What? He asked me do I, if I know why the worst soil is up here and the best soil is over there. Uh -huh. And I said, <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> yeah so I mean you can look at it you can see how by what's growing here this is thinner yeah and you can look down there and you can see by those, those bushes along the road that's thicker that's yeah that's gonna true. be better soil because it's washed over eons yeah Jeff is a farmer and his father was a landscape designer so, so he's an excellent person to help me bring my garden, my farmyard, my food forest to life. 
But being a farmer, of course, he wants me to be growing crops down at the base of the hill where the soil is deeper and richer. Over the centuries or decades at least, the soil has washed down this hillside and landed in the lower, flatter area down by the road. So we're planning a large rectangular row crop garden down there, which will be surrounded by deer fence. Jeff observed that there are very long limbs of the maple tree that would most likely be shadowing the blueberries and the strawberries on the far end. The first visit Jeff made, I had not yet met Justin. And so this was the first opportunity for him to meet Justin and see what kind of a wonderful worker he is. And he was so pleased that I had found somebody that could really help bring my vision to life here. Okay, this would be perfect. Perfect, have it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we're gonna go try to get this tractor. Okay. And I'm gonna take something and dig a little bit down there and see what I think about that soil down there. Okay. And I may just plow a strip right next to those plants right there. And she could put her fruit trees and cannas and stuff right down there. And I, I, I don't think you're gonna be successful right here. I could just look at the ground and see how it's thinner. And I just think it's gonna, it's not gonna be, unless we wanted to do something like this and really build it up. Uh, you know, in my place what I would do is I would put about a three foot rock terrace around it like that. And fill it and fill it. And then go like that. That's what I want to do. Okay, good. Wait, wait, how far down? About the, about about the cardboard. About the cardboard. And just have a, a nice deep terrace. Like about this deep. deep. And then at this side, up here at the blueberries, it would be, so your high point would be here. How do I get the soil? Well, you talk to someone like Kyle and say, would you tell me some top soil? Oh, okay. And then go grab it. Or let him, he's probably got dump trucks. <laughs> he's probably got what? He might have dump trucks and everything. I don't know. A lot of farmers. We'll have go them. see. All right. Anyway. So, so you've got that figured out from that stake to that stake. Uh, it's going to be leveled. I, I, I can come back here later. He needs to get working on that. Yeah, okay. And we need to go. Well, yeah. this is my, that's my forte is getting stuff. Building retaining walls and landscape and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. The one that I made last year was made out of rocks. And it was the most, the longest take. Yeah, expensive many things in between. Well, the thing is, Jeff, I have... You've got all the time in the world. You've got all the rocks in the world. you got help. You seem to know what a, what a terrace is. <laughs> He's had experience building them. What are you going to do with that? This? Yeah. Just unload it. Put it right there. Are we going to cover that or anything to protect it? Because the next time it rains, all that good compost yeah, is going to wash off. Cover it. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. <laughs> 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 All right. Where do I put the alfalfa pellets? No, those are for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Don't steal them. He's tired of waiting. I'm just waiting. doing three trouble for the camera. Make it look like oh, I work. Yeah, I'm go. just making it look like I work for a living. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one is the pile on the ground. Let's go. Okay. Hey, everybody. Well, we have a plan and it is amazing and it is not what I had in mind at all. So you'll be seeing this roll out over time, but basically we went down to try to borrow a tractor and the tractors are like two stories tall. They're gigantic and Jeff just didn't feel comfortable borrowing one of those tractors. We're rethinking all this because what's happened over time is with this hillside, the good soil has wound up down at the bottom, not up here. So for me to lay out this garden over here where I've put the cardboard and everything was kind of preliminary and I uh, really shouldn't have done that. So <laughs> we have marked out where the elderberries are going to go, the pawpaws, the, um, the grapevines, and the fruit trees 
are all going around here and around there, not over here. So this is going to be interesting and I've got an idea for a very simple arbor for the blackberries and I'm not putting a fence around this up here because I just, I didn't like it. So all of these 4x4s behind me are going to be used for the fence down on the lower field. So that's just a little wrap up. I haven't been able to go and check out my um, leg yet. Uh, I think I'm going to go over and get a blood test, but it takes days for that to come back. So I'll be informing you the results and all of that. So thanks for your good wishes and thanks for watching. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't. And we'll uh, have a lot of fun here on my new Tennessee farm, <laughs> farmyard. All right, see you later. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.